What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the McLaren 720S. We're going to do a maxed out stage 6 shift pattern and tune for this car. Then we're going to come back and do a stage 5 shift pattern and tune. After that we're going to do a review on it. And then we're going to see if we can find a live racing setup for this car. So let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what we can get this car to do guys. When you have the 720S 100% maxed out, you're going to bring your nitrous all the way over to the right. Final drive right about 2.70 and then bring your tires down to 8 PSI all the way to the left, guys. All the way to the left. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to drive this. We've got a dyno of a 7.8 on this car. So we want to try and be able to beat the dyno. So let's go ahead and see what happens. All right. So let's give this a drive, guys. Three, two, one, go. Second nitro, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's a really weird car to drive, guys. I don't really like the way this one drives. It's gonna take you probably a little bit of getting used to, but I think this is the way to easy, easiest way to drive it to get like a 7.7 .7 something. Fastest time I've seen so far is about a 7.75, all right? So it can be just a little bit faster than this. But this is the best way to drive it, if you ask me. All right, so let's go ahead and do this car on stage five. First off, the dyno is a 7.8. So it is beating dyno by a pretty nice amount on stage six when you drive it this way. All right, let's get to that stage five shift pattern in tune, guys. Let's get to that right now. All right, so to tune this car on stage five with all the fusion parts, you bring your nitrous over to 495 and 4.2. Put your final drive somewhere around 2.35 and tire pressure at 8 PSI. Now to drive this, it's definitely different than it is on the uh, stage 6 tune. All right, when the car is maxed out, it drives a little differently. On stage 5, it's much easier to drive. So what you're going to do is let go of the gas at number 1 to launch. A split second later, shift into second. Hit your nitrous on third, guys. All the shifts are right before the red line. All right, so let's give that a go. Three, two, one, go. Night, second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth. And we don't have to shift in the seventh gear. Now, I might be able to move my transmission a couple more notches to the right and get this to go just a little bit faster. Then we got a 9.382, which is not bad at all, with a dyno of a 9.435. So it is beating dyno by a little bit. All right, it's a little bit of a dyno beater on stage five, not too bad. So let's go ahead and do a review on this car and we'll see if we can find the live racing setup as well. And we'll do the live racing setup last. I haven't tried to find one yet, but after the review, I'm going to try and set it up and see if we can do that or not. All right, we're going to do a little review on this car on a standard tune, and then we're going to see if we can find a live racing setup for it, which I kind of doubt we're going to. But on the stock tune on stage five and stage six, you might win a few live races with it. It's not going to be a great live racer. It might be okay. It does beat Dino, which means it's going to do pretty good at most things. It's, it's pretty fast. It does a 7.7, .7, but it's definitely not one of the faster cars in the game. It's got a top speed of 371 miles per hour. It can do 0 to 60 in like 0 0.9, 0 to 100, and something like 1.6. So all the times on this car are pretty good. It's an all-around decent car, but nothing special. There's many cars way better than this one out there, but if you need to upgrade this one for an event or something, go for it. All right, go for it. If you don't really need this car, you know, no big deal. You don't need to do it. It should be able to beat the Tempest races. No problem if you have enough parts put into it. It's an all around nice car, guys. It's a nice car, but nothing special. All right, I wouldn't be in a big hurry to upgrade it, but if you have it and you need it, and you upgrade it cool why not all right pretty decent so let's see if we can find the live racing setup for this i did find the low performance point kind of high evo setup but it's not working out that great for live racing it's just doing okay but you really want to have three three times the evo that you have on the performance points and we don't quite have that so what i did is i put engine to stage three turbo to stage three intake three nitrous six body three tire six transmission six so 
Everything, everything is at stage three, except for the three parts that are tunable, and we leave those on stage six, all right? We're able to get 1,458 EVO like that, but it's just kind of okay, guys. You might win a few live races like this, but I wouldn't expect it to do too well. I will show you the tune in case you want to try this out, but eh, it's just kind of okay. We'll show you that in just a second. All right, so with this particular setup, nitrous all the way to the right, Final drive around 4.0. You might be able to tweak that to get some slightly better results. And tire pressure down at 8 PSI. All right, we got a dyno of a 10.1 and we can get the car to run about a 10.1 to 10.2 on average. And let's go ahead and live race somebody with this setup and I'll show you why it's just, it's just kind of okay. All right. All right, so far we've won a couple races. We've lost a couple of races. It just seems like an okay live race or nothing special, even on the lower PP kind of high Evo tune. It's just not doing that great, but let's give this a go. Nitrous on fourth, I found, works the best with this live racing set. Like I said, we win some, we lose some, but most of the time I think I'm losing by just a tad bit like this. All right. I don't think it's going to be the greatest live racing car. Sometimes I run 10-1, sometimes I run 10-2. Most of the cars I'm racing are doing 10 zeros to 10 one So it's not going to be the best live racer, guys. Not going to be the best live racer. So bottom line, it's a nice car. It's going to be good, at, it's good or decent at most things, but probably not great at anything. So I think that wraps this video up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content. Hit that little bell and set those notifications to all so you don't miss any awesome uploads. And we will catch you next time, all right? You guys have an awesome day, and thank you for watching. See ya!